Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button and joining my YouTube family. It has been so amazing to watch my channel grow and I just wanna thank each and every one of you for that. Don't forget to hit that like button on this video and leave a comment down below. Both of those are great for my channel. They let YouTube know that people are watching and interacting. And today I have a collective haul for you. So this collective haul was so big that I had to separate out Target because I went shopping at Target and there's a lot. So I did everything else, which is still a lot that doesn't include Target. And then I'm going to do Target on its own. And so in this collective haul, I have ARC Thrift Store. So Thrift Store haul, I have a little bit from Home Depot, but like from the um, seasonal section. We stopped at a couple yard sales when we were just out and about. My husband and I went shopping together. That's where all this came from. Uh, Sprouts. I picked up some seasonal stuff and Ross. So that I think is it. And if I missed anything, we'll come across it. Oh, Walmart. I have some Walmart too. So let me get started. I will start with Walmart because it is the one that's right in front of me. And so from Walmart, we picked up these sprinkles. They are little pumpkins and little gold sprinkles in here. And I'm going to put them on my coffee bar. I'll probably do them both for Halloween and for fall because they will fit and work for both. So I grabbed those. Um, so Walmart is putting out its Christmas. And I don't know if it says like you have to pick it up when you see it the same way as like Dollar Tree. But I figure I'm going to pick it up when I see it because I like it and I want it. So I grabbed this. And I am in love. Like, I am in love. So that's just a little teeny easel that says hot cocoa bar. This one says candy canes, Mrs. Claus's candy canes, confections and cocoa, North Pole's finest, authentic and homemade. Oh my gosh. There's these little wooden candy canes. And then this one kind of looks like Scrabble letters and says cocoa. And so last year I did a whole hot chocolate bar on my coffee bar and I loved it. And I think that these will be perfect additions to either the whole hot, cho hot chocolate bar or um, my tear tray that's on my table that's next to it. So I was so excited to find those. Um, for me, I needed some face wash. So I grabbed that while I was there. Nothing cool and fun. I was looking for the Waverly chalk paint because I always hear people say they get it at Walmart, but my Walmart didn't have Waverly, so they had this Hello Hobby, and I just got this small one. I think it was $1.79 for this small white chalk paint, and I grabbed it because I don't like the Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree white paint, and so I'm going to try this out and see if it's better, and I didn't want to get the big bottle of it if I didn't like it, so I got the small bottle. I picked up this really cute pink gnome with gold accents and I got this for Happy Mail because I know someone who I think will love it. So he's just plastic. He's like a hard plastic. Just super cute in the blush pink color. And then this one, this one I love so much, so much. It is another little cute gnome with blush pink with a little leg so it's got the little spot you can hang him or he's got like the little butt where you can set him he's just styrofoam in there and so it's just a cute little blush pink gnome oh, so they got that for happy mail as well and then to add just into that happy mail i got these cute little ornaments so they say like fa la la noel peace very merry and love and they're blush pink and white so all of those need to get packaged up for some happy mail because i love them and that is all i got at walmart I'm trying to go like in order of, like the smallest stuff so i have like really big items sitting over here so try to get some of this stuff out of my way so we stopped at sprouts if you have a sprouts market it's basically if you don't have a Sprouts Market, it's kind of like Whole Foods, but like more cost effective. So it's got like a lot of the organic stuff and just not all your typical like grocery store items that you're going to find at like King Supers or Kroger. And they start putting out all their seasonal items. And so we went in and I grabbed these for my fall coffee bar. They're pumpkin spice cookie rolls. Hopefully they taste good because this is a heavy jar. Um, it says it's a product of grease. Net weight is 8.82 ounces. Serving size is two rolls, so there's about 20 of them in here. And so hopefully those are good, because I got those for my coffee bar. I picked up some Tuscany pumpkin pasta sauce. I think this is dinner tonight, actually. I'm really excited. It looks so good. 
And so I have some pumpkin pasta. And then these two teas. So this is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite tea flavors. It is sleigh cookie. No, what is it? Sugar cookie sleigh ride. And it is such a good tea. I do like a splash of almond milk in my tea just to make it a little bit creamy. And it's so good. So I picked that up for the holiday season. And then I got some sweet harvest pumpkin tea. And this one is a black tea that contains caffeine. So I'll drink this like in the morning or like early afternoon. But this one is an herbal caffeine free tea. So I can have this like as a sweet treat at night. And I love both of those. And so those will go on my coffee bar. But more, more excitedly, I'm going to have them. And I'm excited because they're the flavors that I love. We stopped at some yard sales. And I was able to find these galvanized buckets. So there is three sizes in here. We got the little one and they have this marked at $2. There is the middle size. We had this one marked for $3. And then the big one, which was five. So I got all three of these for 10, which I thought was a fair price. And so I have lots of ideas for them, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna use them for yet. But like you could crick it and put words on them, like, you know, fresh caught pumpkins. Could you catch your pumpkins? fresh pumpkins or um, maybe something for Christmas. I'm not exactly sure yet what I'm going to put on there, but I thought that that was a good deal and I really liked the look of the three buckets and that they had all three of them too was really exciting. Also from a different garage sale, so that was at one and then these were at a different one. I got a new butter dish. So this is Threshold. So it's Target brand. It isn't a gray color, which my kitchen is gray and it's ceramic. And so I grabbed that because right now we just have the white plastic one from Dollar Tree, which absolutely does the trick, but this one's just a little bit nicer. And so I picked that up and then they had, and that was a dollar. So a dollar for like a Target brand, um, butter dish I was excited about. Then they have these little easels. And I thought, because I buy all the signs from uh, Dollar Tree all the time, and I don't want to hang them all on my wall. This would be a cute way to display some of them. And so they had two, and I picked them both up. And she gave them both to me for 50 cents. So I thought that was just a killer deal. You get both of those for 50 cents. I might paint them. I'm not sure, because black isn't really my color. I prefer white. So I might paint them. But I mean, they're going to be behind a picture anyway, so it's not a huge deal. And then lastly, from that garage sale, I picked this up. So this is HD Designs Outdoors. I've seen that. I can't remember what store I picked that up from. But she gave, this is just a cute little aluminum tray. And it was a dollar. And so I thought it was too cute. This would be cute on the coffee bar. This would be cute just with holding stuff anywhere else for decor. So I was really excited to find that too. So I got all three of those. It was one, two, three, two dollars and fifty cents. I think my husband tried to give her three and have her keep the change, but she still gave him the fifty cents back because I thought it was even beyond worth three dollars for all that. That's why I love yard sales, just the things you can find, and they just want to get rid of them. Um, we stopped at Home Depot looking for Halloween stuff, and they were pretty, pretty sold out. But my husband picked up some lights to put outside, so he got the orange. So they kind of remind me of candy corn. They look like they're like orange and yellow. But it says orange lights. And then he got these ones, which are multicolor. So it looks like they're orange, purple, and green lights. And I don't know how much those were, and I don't have the receipt right here. Sorry. And then he picked up this fog stuff. We have a fog machine that we've had for, like, just Halloween stuff. And he said, we're almost out of fog liquid. So we picked up the fog, fog liquid. All right. No, Costco. We went to Costco and we were on our way and we were running errands. We didn't buy anything cold. We really needed some water and some like a couple things. But of course, that means we look around everywhere else too. And I picked up these pajamas. I was really excited for. So they're cheetah print and jogger pants. And it's got the cute little top. And they were normally, I think, $19.98 or whatever their prices are. But they were on sale for like $15.98. And so for $15, I got this cute little outfit. So I take the kids to and from school and I thought like, I mean, that's something you could kind of wear out of the car and not be totally in sweats. Not that there's anything wrong with sweats, but at least that way, you know, you kind of look like I tried and I love cheetah print and gray. So also at Costco, they're starting to put out all their Christmas gift stuff and we found this. 
This was $19.99, if I remember correctly. So it's got the Harry Potter pillow and then this blanket, and it says, I would rather be at Hogwarts. And so that just reminded me of Braxton. I thought he would love this. He likes to take his comforter and use his comforter all over the place when he's cold, like during the cold months. And then this way he could just use this nice big softy blanket because it looks like it's about the same size as like a twin size. It's 59 inches by 78 inches. So, I mean, by the looks of this, it fits over a twin size bed. And then he has a pillow he can carry around with him too and then take it back up to his room. So, he's gonna get that for Christmas. It's like such big stuff, like what do you do with it? And then, sorry, digging in a big old bag. We have right, so we get this home and we put it all in a big trash bag to hide it from the kids because Christmas. Also, right now at Costco, they have big, the small, squash, squishmallows, squishmallows. So Lorelai's going to get this nice big squishmallow. It was $10 at Costco. They had three different kinds. So this one was the unicorn. It's got the cute little unicorn tail. And then I think maybe it was four, it was three or four different ones. I don't remember. I can't remember what the other ones were. I would tell you, but my brain cannot find it right now. But so this is for Lorelai for Christmas. Just, it's huge and super soft. So that is Costco. Yep, that's Costco. Um, so the really big things that we're hiding. And then we also went to Ross. And Ross for Christmas, we found for Eric this. So it's literally, it's just cardboard, but it's like a big old treasure chest. And he could put some of his toys in it and just put stuff in it, his treasures, and store it in here because right now he is loving pirates. And this was $8.99 from Ross. That is the right direction. So we grabbed that for him as one of his Christmas gifts. Also, move all this stuff so I don't knock it down. From Ross, we found for Braxton for Christmas this Dimensions Fantastic Beasts Lego set. Now, I know absolutely nothing about this, but he got the Fantastic Beasts movies for his birthday, which is like, I want to say a spinoff from Harry Potter, but it's like kind of a prequel, but not really. But it's like still got the wizards and stuff and Dumbledore in it. So um, I got, the, we found him that, and this was $14.99. And really, we were just excited because it's like not something that we've ever seen and we are big we're big we're big lego people around here and we've never seen this one so he should probably really like this it looks like it attaches to um some sort of game somewhere i think that's where it is like you attach it to something story pack maybe it's an app i have no idea but it has niffler and he's real cute i think so got that for braxton and then, for me, from Ross, oh, they're coming apart, we found some pillows that are adorable. So these were $22.99, and it's a pack of three, and it spells out boo, and it's so cute. So it's got all three, so one side is kind of hard, the kind of side with the letters, like, kind of scratchy. The other side is kind of like a velour, like soft. And they're so cute. So if you just see the picture right there, they spell out boo. They're all, I mean, they're big pillows. They're not small for sure. It doesn't tell me how big they are, but I mean, good size pillows. $22.99 for the set of three. I was eyeballing them. My husband said, you like those, don't you? I said, yeah. And then he bought them for me. So that is my Ross stuff. And then lastly, we went to the thrift store to our... And you know, Ark is always hit or miss, and apparently this time was hit because I have three bags of stuff, or two bags and then an item. And so there, I kind of skimmed through the clothes, and I found these for Lorelei. They're JoJo pants. They got the side that has, like, the blue sparkles, and then they're really cute with, like, cupcakes, donuts, and ice cream. And she's been, usually she's a dress girl, but she's really been into pants lately, so... It's good to always find her a good pair of pants. They were $2.99, but they were half price, so $1.50. Like, how do you not buy those? 
Now, as you know, I'm having a fondue party at the beginning of November. Or if you don't know, welcome. I'm having a fondue party at the beginning of November. And so I always look for fondue pots. And I should be set now. Like, I should be set. So they had these. And I know these are butter warmers. Like, I know that that's what these little guys are. Are little butter warmers. But if nothing else for decor, I thought that they'd be really cute. They were $2.99 each, but half price. So $1.50 each. And so I thought I had to have them for that price. You put a little tea light in there and it warms your butter or whatever else, you know, you put in there. So I got both of those. Like I said, probably more for decor, but I just thought they were too darn cute. And then I found this fondue pot, which is metal. And this one you use, um, like, is it... The little Bernie stuff that you put underneath, a Bunsen burner, Bunsen burner. I don't know. You use like the like little burner stuff, and it's got the the fifth the forks and the little pot. And I thought that that was really cute. It's got the wood handle. So I got two fondue pots already from thrift stores for about ten dollars each, and they are both electric. And then this one was seven ninety nine half price on the day I picked it up. And so this one is more flame warmed. So it was only $4. So yeah, I had to grab it. And then lastly for my fondue party, I found another fondue pot. But this one is also, it's not, it is stainless steel pot. And it is Bunsen burner. I think it's called a Bunsen burner. I haven't opened it. I'll have to open it, make sure all the pieces are there. But it's a name brand fiberware. This one was $12.99 and it wasn't name brand or it wasn't half price, but I thought that that was still a good price. And so I should be definitely all stocked up for my fondue party with fondue pots because I now own four. Yeah. And then lastly, from the thrift store, I found this guy. Oh my gosh. So it was $6.99. It wasn't half price, but I feel like it's definitely worth the $6.99. It's definitely glass got the lid on there and I fell in love so I had to have it it's a little scratched up right here but we'll just turn that to the back how do they do that I wonder but we'll just turn that part to the back I love it so I was at the thrift store and frugal J you were in my brain because you had recently done a thrift haul and you were talking about how expensive everything is there and uh yeah like they have raised their prices so if you don't get things on half price for things like sometimes it's a little crazy how high priced they are and then being that I do Dollar Tree hauls, and so I know Dollar Tree items really well, it's really crazy to me to see how many Dollar Tree items are at the thrift store and marked at like crazy prices, like three, four dollars for things. And then they're like the white tag, which isn't a half price tag. And I'm like, I could, and this, so this particular thrift store is literally like next door to a Dollar Tree. So I go to both and I'm like, well, I mean, I could just walk over to Dollar Tree. They did have the black trays that I was looking for, but they were marked at like $3 and I wasn't going to do it. I don't need them that bad because I know they're worth a dollar. So that is my collective haul for you. You will be seeing me again for Target because my goodness, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of items from Target. Um, my husband was with me for most of it. So I have two different trips to Target. One, one that was just me and one that was my husband and I. And so yeah, there's, there's a lot from Target. So they're putting out Christmas stuff too, guys. Ugh. Christmas is going to kill me. All right. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for being here and you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.